Have you put up your Christmas tree yet? If not, I will be sharing with you one of my ways as well as some tips and tricks to decorate a Christmas tree. To start, I always do my topper first before putting the rest of my ornaments. If you do this last, it will be harder for you not to mangle the already hung ornaments on the tree. I like to use a star and some holiday picks for my topper. This year, I am adding a ribbon to my topper and I'll be putting a separate vlog on how I made this ribbon myself. Next, I will add my statement pieces. The first one is a 6 inch tool of silver and green that I put on top of each other. You can also use a ribbon instead of tool. I arrange them diagonally halfway around the front and back of the tree as shown. I kind of just push them in place into the branches. Second, I added a beaded garland in between the tools. I secure them by simply wrapping the tip of the branch in the middle of the two end beads. Third, I'll be adding some holiday picks. To arrange them, just imagine dividing your tree into four vertical sections, the front, back, and two sides. That's where you can stick those picks. You can also secure them by wrapping a branch on it if they don't stay in place. After putting the statement pieces, I then added the ornaments. When adding them, do one kind of ornament at a time so you can distribute them evenly around the tree. For instance, I added three of these poinsettias on the front and three on the back since I only have six of them. This ornament that I'll be adding next is made up of 10 Christmas balls that I strung together. These are good for filling in some big gaps around your tree. I should be putting a separate how-to vlog on this as well. As a tradition, I try to make a different tree each year. This year, I decided to have green and blue tones. When buying ornaments or any decors for any holidays, get them at the end of each season when they are about 50 to 75% off or even more and then save them for the next year. It has been 5 years since I started accumulating these ornaments and I mix and match them each year. When choosing Christmas ornaments or Christmas balls, it's better to have them in varying sizes to give your tree a better character. Bigger ornaments are also good in filling gaps like this one. Tuck them in a little bit inside the branches when hanging them for a better look. Next, I'm going to add some snowflakes in three colors. When hanging, make them face towards you or rest them on a branch for a better display. At the last minute, I decided to accent the tool by placing the blue snowflakes along it. Lastly, I cut these blue ribbons to length and tied them on the tip of the branches. One last tip, when using a tree skirt, put it last so we won't catch all the flakes from the tree while you're working on it. Stuff in some paper underneath to give it some dimension. Let's light this up and see the final look.
What do you think? Do you like decorating a tree also? And would you share how you do it? Please let me know down the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. May this season be full of light and laughter for you and your family. God bless everyone.